Hi, I'm David Merle with Coldwell Banker Capital Gateway, and uh, this series is is on tax savings. Uh, the 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 government has this annoying belief that if you make money on a on selling real estate, that they deserve a piece of that pie. And of course, our goal is to keep as much of that uh, gain in our hands as possible. Uh, well, this one uh, we're gonna, this time we're going to talk about property taxes. Uh, most people know about California's Prop 13, where the taxes property taxes can't go up by more than two percent uh, per year. Uh, and if you've lived in a house, raised your family in that house for, for 20 years, you have a very small tax bill compared to someone who just buys that house today. The problem is, is you get to your retirement age, you want to sell and, and uh, you can't afford to because you can't afford to give up that tax base. So up came Prop 60. Uh, Prop 60 gave us uh, the right to buy another home of equal or lesser value in the same county uh, and take transfer that tax base to the new property. Uh, so uh, here, here's the, the, the basic rules. Uh, you must be 55 years or older to qualify for, for this discount. It is a one-time transfer. You can only do it one time in your entire life. Um, certainly you need to check with your CPA about the nuances of the law because there are significant nuances to it. And this is only for your primary residence. So you must have lived in, in the house and then you must buy a property of equal or lesser value in the same county uh, within two years of selling your primary residence. So it doesn't have to be a simultaneous e exchange. Um, so let, let's go over the, uh, the, uh, uh, some of the uh, basics of, the, of this law. Um, so you or your spouse, you don't both have to be over 55, just one of you has to be over 55 and uh, uh, you have to be 55 when the original property was sold. So the replacement property also has to be your primary residence, uh, so you must be eligible for the homeowner's exemption or a disabled uh, veteran's exemption in order to qualify. And the replacement property must be e of equal or, or lesser current market value. Now this is important because if Joe's going to sell you his house uh, for a discounted price, that doesn't matter. It's the value of the house and the assessor is going to look at the value of the house and if you got a big discount for buying that property, they're going to assess it and there will be no benefit for you whatsoever if you buy a house that is of greater value. So make sure you're buying a house of, of a lesser or equal value. There's lots of nuances to this law. You can go, go to the uh, California website on Prop 60 to get all the nuances. Um, and you can also give me a call. My name is David Merle with Coldwell Banker, Capital Gateway.